Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can schedule a webinar in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Also, be sure to check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Luigi Acobellis to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now the first thing that you need to do in order to schedule a webinar is you wanna to navigate to the calendar app in your Microsoft Teams application, and then you want to click on the new meeting dropdown. Now you're going to see this new option that says webinar. You wanna go ahead and click on that. Now, you'll notice that this invite looks the same as a Microsoft Teams meeting invite, and this invitation that you'll fill out is the invite that should be sent to the other presenters who will be presenting uh, or facilitating at your webinar. Okay, so again, uh, filling this card out, you wanna fill this out with an aim to send it to the other uh, presenters or facilitators. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll fill this out. Now you'll notice that I have filled this invite out as I would any other Microsoft Teams meeting. So I've added my title, I have added my two colleagues who will be presenting at this webinar, and I've filled out some details in the invite to provide the other presenters with context. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to determine who should be required to register for your webinar. So that is a handy feature. You can actually ask that participants or attendees at this webinar pre-register. Uh, and to do that, you wanna click on require registration. You can see here the default setting was for people in your organization. Um, if you don't want people to register, that is you don't want them to actually have to fill out a form uh, to receive an invitation to attend this webinar, then you can select none, uh, or you can select for people just in your organization, um, or you can actually have it so that anybody, um, either individuals in your organization or those outside of your organization are required to register. Now, just a note, if you are seeing for everyone grayed out, um, that is because this feature hasn't been enabled in your Microsoft 365 environment, and you would want to go ahead and ask your Microsoft 365 administrators to enable this for you. All right. Um, now, the next thing that we'll do is I'll go ahead and show you how to actually customize your registration form. So you can see here uh, this message that says, want your attendees to register for this webinar. Uh, that means you're going to actually send them a link to a registration form and you can actually customize that form. Now to do that, you wanna go ahead and click on this hyperlink, view registration form. And you're going to notice that this opens up in a separate screen. So this is pretty awesome. You can actually create um, the event details as well as create a registration card that your prospective attendees have to fill out in order to receive a link for this um, meeting. All right, now when you're filling out your registration form, you wanna go ahead and fill out the event details. So you can see I've already done that. I've put in my subject here, I've set my start date and time and end date and time. Um, and I've gone ahead and put some actual content that describes what this webinar is going to be covering. Now, the next thing that you can do is you can actually add speakers. Um, so to do that, you wanna go ahead and click add speaker. Now, essentially what this does is it allows you to actually call out who will be speaking at this webinar. So I'm just going to um, put in one of my colleagues here and Alex is an awesome, MS Teams training consultant. Okay, so this is like a little bio that you can fill out per speaker. And again, if you wanna add more, you can just click on add speaker and add multiple um, speakers and bios. If you wanna delete them, you can just go ahead and click on that X. Now you can also add an image to your registration form. Now to do that, you wanna click on upload an image and you'll notice that the desired size for this image is 918 by 120. Uh, and to upload your image, you wanna go ahead and click on upload an image. Now I am going to go ahead and upload this banner that I've made here. Okay, and you can zoom in and out on this image just by dragging this little handle here. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and press done. And so you can see here that my image um, has been appended at the top of the registration form. Now the next thing that you can do is you can actually set the fields that you want to be included on the registration card. So you can see by default, first name, last name, and email 
um, appear on the form. Now you can't actually delete those, but if you want to add additional fields, you can do that by clicking on the add field button. And you can see here that you can choose address, city, state. So um, these are sort of standard um, address fields, uh, industry, job title. And if you want to add your own custom fields, you can do that by clicking on custom question. Now, when you click on this, you'll notice you can either have a free text field or a choice field. Now I'll go ahead and just demonstrate how to add a choice field. And so uh, perhaps for my registration, I would like to find out um, what the attendees familiarity is with Microsoft Teams. And so I've added my question, how familiar are you with Microsoft Teams? And if you wanna make a custom field required, you can go ahead and click on the required checkbox. And I've also added one option. And if I wanted to add another option, I could click on add option. And this will allow me to put in a second option here. If I wanted to delete an option, I could just go ahead and click on the delete button. And again, if you wanted to add additional fields, you can just click on the add field button and go ahead and select either from these predefined fields or add additional custom questions. Now, if you wanted to preview this registration form, you could actually do that by clicking on view in browser. And this is actually going to pop out into your browser and it's going to show you this registration form. So you can see my image here. You can see the title, the date, the time, the content that you included in the actual invite, um, the speakers that you added, and you can see here the registration fields. Now you'll notice because this is a preview, you don't actually have to fill this out. This is just to show you what it's going to look like. And this prompt at the top of the screen also tells you that you don't need to actually fill this out. Now the next step would be to actually go ahead and copy this registration link. So you can copy this registration link and send it via email. You could post it in a team, for example. Um, you could actually post it on a web page. So you want to actually distribute this registration link to allow the potential attendees to register for this particular webinar. All right, now the last thing that I'll show you is what the actual registration process looks like for a user. So I've gone ahead and sent the registration link to my colleague Diego, and I'm just going to go ahead and impersonate him, and I've clicked on the link. And you can see here the registration form that we built, and you can see here that this information was already populated because Diego is part of my organization. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill out this additional custom field that we added. And I'm going to go ahead and click register now. And you can see here that the registration was successful and participants are also going to receive a confirmation email to their email address. Now I'll quickly flip over into Outlook and you can see here the registration confirmation email. So you can see that your seat is reserved. Uh, and this is also going to provide an invite so you could add this to your Outlook calendar. Now that's it. This was just a brief tutorial showing you how to schedule a webinar in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.